The Leon Van Ringsburg Cup is the final race of the meeting, and a flick lip James Shout the top high edge grade John Morgan Ingebird, Darren Thompson, Lord of the National Joshua Sutherland, Bridgewell leader John Morgan, Indenac, Leon Van Rensburg, largely for the National Joshua Sutherland, Nathan Ramont Castle, Vinnie Gerard, Sensitive Jewels for Craig Allen and Hume Cassie, David Robertson. So we got all the way to the last race before we had a problem with the cards. So not too bad then, and away we go in the rain. It's a four and a half mile grade one, this, which we didn't get a chance to say at the beginning. It's a pretty small field there's quite a few longer distance races this week and people probably a little bit concerned about going into a grade one four and a half miler the week before the grand national and you suddenly get walloped with 11 and a half stone next week so natromont castle is in the lead and the john morgan pair are second and third high edge gray and bridgewell leader and Somebody's going to need to pour me a very stiff drink at the end of this if we get all the way through the Cheltenham Festival without John Morgan having a single winner as they get down to the water. And over it they all go with Nat Tromont Castle in the lead. High Edge Grey is second, Bridgewell Leader is third. Lord of the National on the inside is fourth. And then Sensitive Jewels with Hume Cassie next as they take this ditch. And over that one they go. With Inga Bird probably just the back marker. Well, they're pretty tightly packed. And they've still got a good four miles to go then in this final race of the festival. And a mistake by the leader, Natural Mont Castle, has let the grey, high edge grey, just about get into the lead. Bridgewell leader is third. And then Lord of the National on the inside is next. With Indernacht after that one, with Leon Van Rensburg trying to win his own race. As they get over that big ditch and then all safely over that one. And Leon Van Rensburg must be wondering about the Gold Cup earlier on. If he hadn't entered Flashpoint, G.I. Joe would be a dual Gold Cup winner as they get over number six. And he was talking to me on Friday night and I actually said that the reason he hadn't entered Equinox was because he didn't want Equinox to beat G.I. Joe. I don't think he thought that Flashpoint would. But it did. And it's in the books now as they come to number seven. But there's plenty of us who would give quite a lot to get a 1 2 in the Gold Cup. So I don't think we'll shed too many tears for him as they make their way down towards the next. And Natharamont Castle is the leader. High Edge Grey is second. If we're going to shed any tears for anybody from the Gold Cup, it will be poor old David Robertson who lost his horse in that race as they get over at number eight. Corner in Savage. He was a second last, and bizarrely, I've only ever known one other horse he killed in an SO series race, and I can't remember the name of it, but that was a David Robertson horse as well, about six seasons ago, so not quite sure how much bad luck that is, but that's pretty unfortunate. Well, it's Nat Tremont Castle in the lead as we get back to this race then, with High Edge Grey second. And Lord of the National third, Bridgewell leader fourth, then a fleet lipped as they get over number nine. And they're all safely over that one, although Inga Bird is a little bit slow at the back. And they're going to come up in there and take this one to be the last in two circuits. Time on, there's a fall there, a fleet lipped has gone. So a fleet lipped is out of the race. Crashed out in front of the stands. Natural Mont Castle continues to lead from High Edge Grey second, Lord of the National third, Indernacht is fourth, and then Bridgewell leader, then Hume Cassie and Sensitive Jules, largely for the National, and finally Inga Bird. So racing down the back straight again, then now. Take a look at them from the other side of the track. And over that plane fence they go. They're all safely over that and making their way towards the water jump with Inga Bird just struggling a little bit at the back to keep up with them. Natural Mont Castle is setting a sensible ish sort of pace, you would think. As we see them over the water, obviously, they're all safely over that water. They're going to take it one more time yet, and it's Natural Mont Castle who leads by a good five to High Edge Grey second, and Laura the National third. Yun Cassie on the inside is fourth, and then Sensitive Jules as they take this ditch safely over that one as well. Inga Bird still the back marker but back in touch again as Nathramont Castle gets over 14. With high edge grade second and 
sensitive jewels in, in the nacht. Lord of the National, Yim Cassie on the inside, then Bridgewell leader, and then finally Largely for the National, and Inga Bird, just the back marker. So this is the 15th, and it's a big ditch, and that's the midway point in the jumping. And that Tremont Castle's lead is probably up to seven or eight now. Well, in the Nacht on the outside has moved into second. High Edge Grey is third. This is a plain one, and the leader stood off it but got over it okay. And all safely over number 16 and making their way down towards the 17th. Racing downhill, then Natural Mont Castle clearing the lead. As it has been throughout. High Edge Grey in second. Sensitive Jewels moved up on the outside in third. And Lord of the National fourth. As they come to the next, I see them all over that. Yim Cassie was just a little bit slow. See, Inga Bird is making a nice little move around the outside now. But Natural Mont Castle is seven clear of the grey, high edge grey. Sensitive jewels in the green and the yellow, and in between the two of them, Lord of the Nationals, they come to the 18th. And over that one, they go on the grey Bridgewell leader and, sorry, the grey high edge grey and Bridgewell leader. The two John Morgan horses both made mistakes at that one. And Natural Mont Castle continues to show the way home. There's still a complete circuit to go yet. Plus the fence in the straight. Natural Mont Castle. Come to take this one in front. Gets over it nicely. It's away from it well, the lead about six lengths now, and they race down towards the fence that'll be the final fence on the next circuit, the final fence of the Cheltenham Festival for this season next time round then, and over it they go, and Ian Cassie was again a little bit untidy, we get one last look at them from the top of the stand, and they're going to swing left-handed then now, and out into the country at Presbury Park for the final time for this season's Cheltenham Festival, it's been thrills and spills from start to finish, we've had a little bit of everything, and Natural Mont Castle is the leader in this final race, the Leon Van Rensburg Cup from High Edge Grey in second, then Sensitive Jules is third, and Lord of the National is fourth, largely for the National is fifth, and then Bridgewell leader in Hume Cathy, and then Inga Bird, and Inde Nacht has now dropped back to the last position as they make their way to this next plane fence and a bit of a slow jump there by the leader has seen High Edge Grey get to within half a length and as they race down towards the water jump and it's Natural Mont Castle in the green on the inside of the grey High Edge Grey, gap of four lengths back to Sensitive Jules who's third then comes largely for the National and Lord of the National just about together, Hume Cassie's after that one, in the Nacht is next then Bridgewell leader and finally Inga Bird but High Edge Grey takes it up Racing towards the next fence then now. High Edge Grey takes that ditch slowly. A better jump by Natural Mont Castle who's now gone back up on his inside. Gap of five to Lord of the National. Sensitive Jules has been running a quite patient race in fourth as they get to this plain one. And they're all getting over that one okay. Well, one or two of them are getting a little bit tired and jumping slowly. But it's High Edge Grey and Natural Mont Castle. They're probably eight lengths clear now of Sensitive Jules in second. And then Bridgewell leaders now coming round into it in third. And it's after that one largely for the National and Lord of the National. Gap back to Hume Cassie in the Nat got work to do over the oh, big ditch. There they go. And it's still Natural Mont Castle and High Edge Grey who are disputing the lead. But Bridgewell leader and Sensitive Jules are running on to try and join them. Then come the Southern Pair largely for the National and Lord of the National. Over that one, Natural Mont Castle made a mistake. They've only got four more fences to take then now. And High Edge Grey has gone too clear. And Sensitive Jules is in hot pursuit. Moves into a clear second. Natural Mont Castle is now beginning to weaken. Then comes Bridgewell leader trying to run on Lord of the National. Largely for the National in Indian Nat Hume Cassie and Inga Bird over the fourth last they go and it's Sensitive Jules has gone on. Sensitive Jules has taken it up from High Edge Grey in second. Bridgewell leader is about to move into third then Lord of the National. Largely for the National. Coming down towards the third last fence now then and it's Sensitive Jules too clear of High Edge Grey and Bridgewell leader. Over the third last they go and a mistake there by Bridgewell leader. Shorting up on his chances. No good, it's Sensitive Jules in front from High Edge Grey, lastly for the National Lord of the National, Bridgewell leader trying to run back on again, they're coming down towards the final two fences now then, in this final race of the Cheltenham Festival, and it's High Edge Grey who's gone back into the lead, from Sensitive Jules then Lord of the National, then lastly for the National, these are clear of Indian who's trying to run on, 
you Cassie and Inga Bird and Natural Montcastle is now well beaten. It's High Edge Grey coming down towards the second last fence with a lead of two lengths from Lord of the National who jumps it better. Sensitive Jules is trying to get back into it. Natural Montcastle's gone up the back. It's High Edge Grey in the lead but only by half a length coming down towards this final fence. It's High Edge Grey and he jumps it slowly. Lord of the National largely for the National now beginning to take it up. It's largely for the National on the outside. Lord of the National Bridgewell leaders trying to get back into it. So to his sensitive Jules is done with a ding dong battle at the finish. It's going to be Lord of the National from Bridgewell leader. Lord of the National by a neck. Bridgewell leader trying to close. It's Lord of the National that's going to take it up because they race up towards the line. Lord of the National wins it from Bridgewell leader second. Largely for the National then. Sensitive Jules in the neck. Never got a blow in. And well another thrilling finish to end the festival and Joshua Sutherland started it with a winner and he's ended it with a winner and he is the champion trainer for the Cheltenham Festival and not much of a shock there but the big shock for me is John Morgan not getting a winner at all and the full result to be fair to John though he's not had that many runners Lord of the National the winner then for Joshua Sutherland Bridgewell leader for John Morgan second largely for the National for Joshua Sutherland third sensitive jewels for Craig Allen fourth and high edge grey for John Morgan was fifth that's your Cheltenham Festival Stu will wind up all of the statistics about who won what and stick it in the forum for you but I'm fairly certain that that means Joshua Sutherland is the champion trainer for the Cheltenham Festival this season.